We welcome you back. You know, many people working from home these days, younger people are taking classes, which means you're kind of hunched over a lot at your computer, and that sometimes can lead to stiffness and a pain in your back. Should you see a doctor, or is it something you can do to help yourself? Dr. Jason Biondo is a chiropractic physician here in the St. Louis area to provide some advice. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You are most welcome. Okay, I think most people, especially those who are stuck in front of either a camera on Zoom or meetings like that, a lot of people are feeling this. So what are some of the signals that our back would be sending us to indicate this? Yeah, this has been incredibly common here, especially over the past couple of months with people working from home and new workstations. And uh, again, again, a lot of people walking into the office with complaints of generalized stiffness is very common, but as it starts to precipitate and kind of build, burning is that sensation that really gets people irritable and start to seek help. And so I want to go over a couple of strategies this morning to help people at home because there's a lot of simple things we can do to actually alleviate this tension and discomfort. All right, what are they? Let's talk about it. All right, let me give a little example here. So I'm going to use this band here for a quick demonstration. So this band is going to demonstrate a sling of muscles down my back. And if you imagine when we're sitting at our workstation, as we kind of slump forward, you can see I put more tension on mm -hmm. that band. So naturally, we're going to feel tightness and stiffness with that. And most people think, okay, if I just stretch that, I'm going to work it out. But the easiest way to get rid of that tension is to actually bring those muscles back to a more neutral position, to shorten those muscles. So what we can do is then focus more on stretching through the front side of our body or in our chest. These uh, pectoral muscles are going to be kind of slouching our body forward. So in our chair, we can simply brace our arm behind the back of the chair. I'm doing it right now, we're Doc. Gonna, <laughs> we're going to rotate our torso. So you're turning your torso while fixing that arm. And you really want to think you're trying to turn through the chest, not rounding the shoulder forward. So as you're releasing through the front of your chest, that's going to help bring the back to a more neutral or optimal position and really just reduce a lot of the tension that we're going to feel yeah. in the shoulder blades and the neck. Now, another strategy I really like is if you have a foam roller at home, these are excellent for self-mobilization or just relaxation techniques. And what you can do is you'll be lying on the floor with this, but I'm going to demonstrate sitting here. We're going to put the foam roller in between our mid-back. So I'm lying on the floor. My hands are going to be resting behind my head. And as I'm lying on the floor, I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to lift my butt up off the floor. And now I'm going to just use the foam roller to extend or reach my back and that's going to help mobilize those joints in the mid back and that's where a lot of stiffness really accumulates so we're actually going in the opposite direction where we are sitting all day long and that does wonders to reduce tension in the muscles it's going to help increase circulation to those muscles and then largely help to really restore better circulation to those nerves that get irritated or entrapped in, in those tissues. Boy, those were some great demonstrations. And, and I'm guessing most of us don't get up and move around as we should anyway, especially when we're working and stuff, but we just need to move more, right? Yeah, you are spot on. I mean, if you can get up and take little micro breaks every 20, 30 minutes, that's really gonna do wonders for you. I mean, that's probably one of the most simple things that we can do is just keep moving. Our body's craving that, and usually those little aches and pains are just a signal saying, hey, let's get up and move around a little bit, get your arms moving, get your shoulders moving, and uh, that will do wonders for you as well. All right, some great advice. I wonder how many other people at home are doing that as we were stretching this morning. So thank you so much, we appreciate it. I, I'm definitely gonna get one of those foam rollers for myself. Uh, we appreciate your time. <laughs> All right, and if you'd like more